Frédéric told us that some of you are from Australia, Deutschland, guten Tag. Bangkok, Cambodge, Chinese, it's great. Great, so it's time to start. Uh, good morning or good evening or good afternoon, I don't know how to say hello, dear doctoral student managers. Um, welcome to this uh, webinar on doctors advising doctoral students. Um, Dr. Tari and I um, are very, um, we, we enjoy to, to speak with you about our collective work. Um, before we start, I don't want to, to be too, too, too quick. Before we start, I've got a small question for you. Who knows the place on a picture in front of you? Who knows the place on the picture in front of you? You can answer or write in, in the chat. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I've got some no idea. Mm -hmm. And some BSI Luxembourg, campus in Luxembourg, uh, Wiltz, BSI. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's, it's Wiltz. It's our common point, our meeting place. Yeah. Um, I would like to introduce myself very quickly. And um, next, uh, uh, Dr. Tawi, you, you, you can uh, introduce yourself. I am Cédric Baudet, a graduate of the Business Science Institute. Um, in addition to a DBA, I also pursue um, a PhD, and I am a few, full professor in a university in Switzerland. That's why I, I spoke in German too, uh, but I'm in French part of Switzerland. I'm doing research in management on the use of technology with a sub-focus on the use of technology by visual impairment people, okay? Fadua, if you want to say some words. Hi, hi everybody. I'm Fadua Tahari. I'm, um, I'm a DBA, uh, executive I'm DBA from uh, BSA, BSI from, um, Paris to cohort. Um, initially, I'm a, a CPA in Morocco, and um, uh, my thesis was about uh, the national cultural influence on leadership practices in uh, organizations. Um, and I uh, wrote a book on, uh, on, on the base of my uh, research. Um, that's Pretty uh, much what uh, I can I can share with you. I'm a mom of two uh, children, and uh, okay, I'm currently living in Morocco. Okay, thank you. For that. Uh, you can add maybe the, the link of your book um, in the chat, and it, it's written in French or in English? Yeah, in French. Oh, okay. French. Not yet in English. It's, it's it's maybe next uh, challenge. Next step. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, so today we are going to present uh, you a very original book uh, published by EMS Edition in the Business Science Institute collection, directed by Professor Beaulieu and uh, Professor Kalika. Uh, why is this book so original? For two main reasons. First of all, this is a collective book written by doctoral managers for doctoral students' managers. Normally, books are written by professors working in universities. We wanted to talk to you because, because we experience the DBA journey, Fadua and I. It's a book written by a family a family under the care of a dad, uh, uh, you all know, uh, this dad is Michel, of course, you know. Second, why is this book so original? Because the genesis of this collective work is also original. 
since um, 2016, we have been discussing in Vils with doctoral students. The questions are somewhat always the same. We then wanted to answer them through a book for you. We wanted a pedagogical and relevant and easy to understand book. Uh, we have already read enough scientific papers, which are sometimes quite obscure. Uh, we propose in this book short chapters, maximum four, five, or six pages with illustrations. Each chapter deals with a subject, keywords, a, qu um, a key question addressed, um, a text which answers the address question, as well as reading advice. We organized each chapter into one of the processes of the doctoral journey. For example, um, we start um, discuss about how to pursue a thesis. If you have to do a DBA or PhD, what's the difference and so on. We address some topics, research question and research supervisor, which is a key question um, during your, your, your doctoral journey. Um, we address some research methodologies issues. We discuss about thesis supervision and we give you advices um, about your uh, VIVA, the thesis defense, this um, tipping point moment, if I can say. And um, in pink, uh, we discuss the easy life after the thesis the quite easy life after the thesis, okay? So, so some, um, some um, chapters of doctors, authors in this book. Oh, some example, a chapter written by Dr. Uh, Dabere provides guidance in deciding which, which type of doctorate to pursue. In the methodology chapters, a chapter written by by Dr. Tari, explain autoethnography in practice. A few chapters give you advice on how to succeed in your thesis with some follow-up principle. And for the example, we, we also come back um, to the writing of the thesis manuscript and to the preparation of the final defense. Another chapter from Dr. Nguessan talks about life after the thesis. So we've got a lot of small chapters in this quite original um, book. Um, Fadoua, you can maybe you can maybe explain one of your chapters about uh, autoethnography. Well, I participate in uh, this um, very interesting uh, uh, project by two uh, chapters. The first was um, a very uh, practical answer, or uh, where I provide practical answers to a question: What is ethnography? I mean, when I was doing on the research process. Uh, it took me a lot of time to understand and to uh, to reach uh, to understand about autoethnography. I wrote a lot of things and um, to to get my comprehension on it. So um, I what I want to do is to give some practical answers on how to conduct the autoethnography. I mean, like what is my research model? What is uh, in practice, not autoethnography, auto, auto how to write it in practice, how to begin, how to analyze it. I even uh, present some examples of my results of my thesis. So the, 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 
my objective was to to be very practical to answer um, questions uh, beginners answers um, of course uh, doctoral students may need to to further reading where, which i present at the end of the chapter but the, the objective is to 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 give a hands and to say okay what is that autoethnography you read five pages and you know what what to do on it uh the the second chapter was participation it was a discussion with two other doctorals doctoral uh, and uh, and the, the 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 each one of us brought his her perspective on um, on on how to pursue a thesis, um, and uh, it was a reflection on my side of the environment factors of success of DBA. Uh, I presented my perspective of what things uh, helped me in uh, the environments that helped me in uh, finishing the thesis. Because like um, Dr. Kalika said, uh, a good thesis is a finished thesis. <laughs> so the, 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 the thing is how to, fin how, how to um, analyze your environment, environment to, to finish this uh, thesis. That's pretty much... Uh, what I can say about the, the two chapters. Thanks a lot. Anyway. So, <clears throat> it's, um, I propose uh, you to, to discuss together because it's, maybe you've got some question. You can write your question on the chat, uh, freely express yourself. Uh, we are listening to you. Uh, you've got the mic. We are here, you, here for you. So I have to do that, yeah. Don't be shy. I have to check on the chat if there is some question. No question in the chat. You have maybe, you need some time to, to write it. I think that's the most important thing about this book is uh, um, is that it was uh, grounded in our experience. Uh, it is something that we lived, not we read or we researched. It is our lived lived experience that we uh, we we put in words and in pictures. That that is mainly the book. Yeah. So there is some question. Um, <clears throat> can we order a copy? Of course you can, but uh, maybe Frederick, you can maybe answer because you said that you will send a copy to each doctorant. Is it true? <laughs> Correct. Yes. A copy will be sent to all students, a free copy. Good news. Electronic version or paper. Yeah. Okay, you have to choose electronic or. Our notes. We've got one question by Fukisa. Yeah? Uh, yes, I think, uh, you can, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Fukisa, we am actually in uh, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just uh, have been enrolled in this uh, program and uh, I'm actually on my journey and uh, reading this uh, research philosophy. And uh, I'm interested on this aspect that was raised recently, uh, talking about the ethnographic approach. Mm -hmm. um, 
I wonder, uh, because the case I'm personally studying relate to um, uh, government engagement, government commitment in the BPP. And uh, certainly this has to do also with the leadership and management because it affects um, fiscal, fiscality. Uh, mm -hmm. it, and uh, I would like to know, because my vision at the beginning is that this is a topic where I have to go directly using scientific approach. But maybe depending on the gender approach, if we consider that uh, at the leadership level, maybe the way result is obtained as a finished or delivered project will be much better if it's handled with, uh, by women or uh, men, maybe this can make a big difference. Because uh, I'm saying that, because listening to uh, what uh, I was saying, uh, I'm thinking of about our government, led by uh, a strong men, the way they react to business uh, area. Maybe the approach, whether they are uh, men or women, may affect exactly the decision making. And of course, the last impact on the project itself as the delivery on PPP may be also affected. So that was uh, one of my uh, concerns. It's not maybe a direct question, but this raised to me a kind of a question mark. Yes, I, I, I did not even uh, decide the, the real topic on itself, because as you say, this is just a beginning for me. And the more I'm reading, more my topic is getting, uh, I, I would say, improved, because I have to narrow it to the point where I want really to focus on uh, something specific. And actually, uh, the area where I'm focusing is the guarantees that the government provide when they are dealing with partners, uh, private partners, uh, to um, in the PPP for uh, infrastructure development. So mm -hmm. I, I'm thinking of the impact of the leadership or management at that level from the government side. If we have women in, or uh, men in power, maybe the result may be affected. Okay. Thank you for your uh, your your, um, your reflections. It's not really a question, but um, there is some maybe some answer to 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 guide you in your reflection. Uh, first of all, uh, about the PPP, uh, I'm not sure, but. There is Dr. CDB, maybe, um, which work on this um, on these topics. Fadua, do you know if uh, it was Dr. Draman CDB? I, I'm quite sure about PPP. Hmm? I'm not sure, but um, uh, uh, we can we can ask. I mean, uh, we have enough resources uh, in uh, BSI. So, uh, Mr. Fukisa can uh, connect with the uh, GBA uh, doctors that uh, that did this. Uh, yeah, yeah. So a good start could be to, to speak with Draman CDB, Doctor CDB. Uh, he worked on a, a very connected um, topic. Um, first of all, and uh, you have got um, a paradigm question about exactly. if yeah. Um, if you have to, to follow a scientific way, a positivist way of thinking, or if you can ground your, your reflection, find your reflection in, a, in the ground. Um, and uh, I'm quite sure that uh, Fadua maybe can advise you um, because, for, for two reasons, because Fadua, uh, c'est Isabelle, hein, ta, Isabel no, Walsh. No, uh, Isabel Walsh, uh, Walsh helped me a lot on the ground theory. Yeah. Uh, 
the, the yeah, but the, the president person, uh, okay. president person was uh, uh, Dr. Al Arkubi from New Heaven. From yeah, the US. yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. But um, it's but quite she, interesting. Yeah, Your way. Hmm. The, the ethnography, it's quite interesting to answer those kind of questions. I'm quite sure yeah. because it's what you leave in practice. Yeah. First of all, um, although ethnography is a method that suits a lot with, uh, with first with our DBA uh, experience, because we are managers and we have a lot of uh, uh, data, or we have a lot of experiences that can profit uh, on our research. So first of all, it is um, a good uh, thing to begin with. Second, yeah, as uh, Dr. Uh, Budi uh, said, um, it's also suited with, suited with um, the ground theory because uh, um, data is grounded from the, the, the field, from the reality. So it is important to, it is a good thing to use that. Uh, third, it is, yeah, you raised the, the, the question if it is scientists uh, and a lot of uh, authors raised this question about scientificity of uh, autoethnography. The thing is, there is a methodology to conduct an autoethnography. It is not uh, literature. It's not something that we, 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 we write and uh, it's okay. I mean, there is a methodology, there is somehow how to, to write it and some and how to analyze it. And the, the thing is, is to, to write it at the, to begin to write it at the first uh, steps of your, uh, your project. So you have enough time and enough data and enough writing to, to analyze uh, by the, the, the step of, uh, in which you have to analyze data. So yeah, uh, I think that um, if you have enough experience and enough thoughts uh, about this, it is good to bring them, to bring all these thoughts as data in, uh, in your project. Um, and then what I did uh, is to, 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 have to make a triangulation between autoethnography and interviews, field interviews. So that, that's how I, I um, bring a lot of scientificity in, in, in the results. I hope uh, it, uh, it can be helpful for you. Yes, I've had some clue on uh, those uh, responses. Yes, thank you. That may be a question for you, uh, um, Fadua. Uh, did, did you get any remarks uh, from the jury during your defense, from you, you the, the, the one which, uh, I don't know, from the professor, because you use autoethnography, some, if, is there some negative remarks? No, at all, at all. I had <laughs> negative remarks, but not on, on, <laughs> okay. on my methodology. I mean, the, the construction of the methodology was one of my uh, my good points. One of the things that, that I did uh, the best okay. it was this okay. triangulation I did between interviews and autoethnography. I mean, it was not a literature. It was an ethno autoethnography with field notes, and uh, and uh, it was uh, analyzed before interviews, so it cannot interfere between uh, been, between the the, the the analyses are not interfered, and it, yeah, it, it has uh, it. Uh, it makes sense as a methodology. Yeah, if you follow the methodology uh, with rigor, okay, it, it has to be rigorous. Okay? Yes, it's yes. not just okay. I say something and I write it. Write it. Okay, so um, um, Fukisa, he, he feel free to choose your method. A DBA is an applied thesis. Okay. Um, an applied thesis uh, that needs to have impact, and uh, yeah. you have to feel totally free. 
uh, in uh, BSI, uh, in Business Science Institute, there isn't any paradigm imposed at mm. all. Okay. Okay. But but you your 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 uh, supervisor, your director, um, have to be a, a specialist and to be okay if you want to choose those kind of methodology. Okay. Oh, sure, we reach there. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I have to check in the chat if I we've got other question. Yes, yes. No. Okay. Don't be shy if you've got some, some questions. We are here just for you to help. But we are maybe clear. I, I find if you if you allow me, I find the, the, the idea to 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 uh, have a copy of this book to all DBA students is a very uh, Nice idea. I mean, I wish I would. I, I wish I had those information in the beginning. It would save me uh, yeah. I mean, like six years, six months of uh, <laughs> diving in all uh, all all situations and all ideas. Yeah, I mean, and all yeah. those jokes. Uh, yeah, yeah, six months is quite a lot, huh? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, of course, you, you, you can read the book uh, and then you can contact um, uh, each author if you've got some question. Uh, we are here, we are in the same community, so you, you can, we can make a call, uh, a Zoom, it's quite easy nowadays. Uh, we've got some habits uh, with uh, those, uh, those COVID. And um, so we are here for you. No more question. Great. Frédéric, do you have any question? Can you talk maybe about time management regarding the thesis, maybe readings, because most of the students are the beginning also of the thesis. So they are overwhelmed with information from the seminars, from the different professors, a lot of reading to do, how to be efficient yeah. with that. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I've got an easy answer. Uh, first of all, you have, you have to maybe, you have not to read our book from the beginning to the end. You can pick, grab, pick some ideas, uh, grab some ideas, um, pick some chapters, read it, do your job, read it again, and so on. But Frédéric, to answer uh, at your, your question, um, there is um, uh, a scientific information overload. So when you, yeah, yeah, it's true. When you start, uh, with your thesis, you have to, to select the papers you have to read because you have to read a lot. And to do that, you've got maybe two solutions. The first one is to speak with, with, with your supervisor. Um, they are here to help you. And they will say, Okay, you have to read those paper, this paper, and this this uh, this book, and so on. But in the BSI, you can use a software called Artirev. You uh, you make a, a request on it, you, like um, uh, Fukasa said, a PPP and management and leadership, and I don't know what. You press an OK. And there is a lot of uh, graphical help for you um, to, to explain what 
are the best paper to read. It could be very, very, very useful for you. And um, you will save six more months, at least, in the reading. So uh, you can go, I, I will uh, you know, write the, um, the link. Mm -hmm. OK. R -T there is no shortcuts on reading. You have to read. Yeah. Rtref.com. It helps. It's bibliometric techniques. It helps a lot. So great. We've got one new. Oh la la. We've got one question. Lee Kong Louis, how many literature re reviews are considered as appropriate? You know, in um, there isn't any question, uh, answer at your question because the, there is no silver bullet, a magic number. It doesn't exist in a thesis. Um, you have to read and uh, you have to read some, um, some advice from uh, Barney Glaser. He will say you have to go, uh, you have to read, you have to read, you have to read and when nothing new is coming, you can stop. Yeah. Okay. This is the right answer. It's, it's a saturation. When you, when, when you experience a, a literature review saturation, you stop. But you have to read and to read even when you finish literature review, because at uh, the, the end, maybe something uh, new uh, has, have been, um, has been published that you didn't consider. So it is, it, it is process. It, it ends the, the last uh, day of your thesis. There is no shortcut on reading. You have to read and you have to. Uh, Cedric um, Alliston uh, raised a, a very interesting point. Did you read that? Okay. Um, what do students identify as the most frequent or largest issues they experienced? Fadua, do you want to, to answer? Um, well, I mean, there are every every experience is different. Um, and after discussion, you there is some uh, some some uh, challenges on the DBA, the question, the question research, the methodology, uh, the the the, the relation with the, 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 the director of your thesis that are on the literature review, that are the main, for me, that are the main, uh, the frequent uh, issues that we discussed between us. Everyone has uh, his experience uh, on, on that uh, issues, but uh, I mean, um, the, the, the book raised uh, the, the the frequent answer uh, questions. Yeah, and uh, maybe there is a lot of issues uh, with um, personal life. Sometimes. Yes, and the the man time management. Yeah. Yeah, it's time management because uh, if you are manager in a in a company. Um, you are married and with children and with friends and uh, um, you are doing um, a DBA. Yeah, it's a, it's a challenge, of course. So you have to find the way, for, is the best way for you. If you want to work in, in the morning, in the evening, during the night, uh, during holidays. So um, you you have to it's a work-life balance you have to choose but it's quite challenging yes. yes and and what i raised in my perspective in the book is to understand analyze your environment and to see how this environment could help yeah you 
I mean, yeah, your it is your thesis. Your name will be on this thesis, but uh, you have to find a way to get it a group work. I mean, uh, there is there is a lot of um, help that uh, BSI provide. Uh, Aline was a very valuable help for French speaking uh, students. Uh, the, the the I mean the the staff Caroline uh, we have we had a lot of help in uh, in in BSI environment and you have to look in your environment your family uh, friends how to help um, to discharge you uh, during this thesis of some uh, of your tasks. Um, you cannot do all the things the best the way you can, but yourself. You have to to look, to analyze how you have to get you have you can get some uh, some help. That, that's that's why how uh, how I, I I went through this experience yeah. by by looking for help <laughs> yeah, uh, with my, with my husband, my mom. Yeah. BSI staff, um, uh, don't be shy. That's that's the way how things could go, could could went. I mean, there are a lot of people that can do the, all those things uh, by their own. They are exceptional, maybe. But uh, as for my experience, I am not exceptional. I'm not extraordinary. I I ask for help. <laughs> Yeah, but and when you ask for help, you ask to confront yourself and your opinion with others, and it could be very useful. And I discussed, I discussed, I, yeah, and you have a community here. What you do, that's part of the environment. You have a community, you have a lot of uh, people that uh, experience the same things that you experience, and that could e explain to you something, raise some ideas that you didn't see. I mean, don't be on your uh, corner alone. You have to explore all your, the, the community or the SI uh, resources. Uh, yeah, that's what I meant when, uh, when I say you have to ask help. You have to, don't be by your, your, yourself. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we've got another question from uh, Ricky Fernando. Do, did you finish your thesis on time? Before time? Or a bit late? Uh, can you please share your experience? Um, uh, I finished on time because I'm in Switzerland and I have to, because we make, uh, we, we, we create uh, watches and um, be on time, it's quite normal in Switzerland, you know? No, it's a joke, of course, but you, I, I was on time. Yeah. I finished on time, and Morocco is not Switzerland, but I finished <laughs> on time because I'm, I, I'm a mom and I'm used to be on time for school. And uh, yeah, it's, it, that's what I mean. mean um, each one has, uh, has his culture, his, her culture, but the thing is, yeah. Um, I believe that BSI students are very smart and you can find your way, ask questions, look for help uh, and find your way. Yeah. <clears throat> you have maybe to work um, every week on your thesis. This rhythm, it's quite useful um, to, to succeed. This, this rhythm, weekly rhythm to, to work every week, maybe every day if you can, um, but weekly it's quite cool because um, you are always, um, you, you live with your subject, with your thesis weekly. If you make a stop during the thesis, it's quite difficult to, um, to restart on it. Okay, you will face some difficulties to me. So, 
Is it okay for you? I can read ha ha ha. It's because of the Swiss watch. Great. If you, you've got a more personal question, uh, we are here to answer um, by email. Um, I, I will uh, write my, uh, my personal mail and, and in the chat. Of course, you can send me an email. I'm available on LinkedIn. Um, and uh, we are here to, to, to help you, okay? Like a community, like a family, yeah. okay? And um, maybe I can... On, on, on LinkedIn too, you can write me on. Yeah, great. So it's a big family. Uh, here, um, there is a, a picture, a family picture, but it's just the, the authors of the book. Um, some are from France, uh, Morocco, uh, Tunisia, uh, Switzerland, and so on. Um, and we are here to help you, of course, with Michel, like a dad. So if you don't have any question, we can maybe finish. And um, we'd like to add something, uh, maybe uh, Fadwa. No, it's okay. Yeah. So uh, you can, we can maybe thanks to all of you and um, enjoy the journey of, um, of this, uh, this DBA. Well, Frédéric said, ask something hey, just for me, okay. Um, data collection analysis, is it, is it easy to collect data? It's maybe the, one of the, the last question we, we've got. Um, how to, to collect data, to collect, to analyze, and uh, what kind of tools or software we used um, to, to do that? Um, Frédéric, you can really add some uh, information, but um, there is a special, um, a special a partnership uh, with uh, BSI, it's Le Sphinx, okay? So you can um, work with those tools. I'm not sure, but I think there is a, a qualitative and a quantitative um, part for Le Sphinx. You can, um, you can grab data with survey, uh, you can um, make some interviews, and uh, code those interview with the grounded theory and um, I don't know which and thesis um, thematic analysis and so on and you can use the, the, the Sphinx uh, to, to, to help you. There is of course a lot of other tools, softwares to help. Uh, for example, Envivo is quite useful if you want to make a qualitative analysis. Okay, you can code uh, with Envivo and uh, other tools. There is some free tools like Smart PLS um, for quantitative analysis and so on. There is a lot of tools. Um, yeah. And what about data collection? I can maybe say one more word about data collection because um, you are manager in companies. So you've got data, you have to use it, okay, to interpret it. Uh, the best way to succeed, uh, to, to the success is to, to use your own data to me. Uh, there is another question, uh, could we use primary data? Oh, okay, it's quite the, what, what I say, um, primary data or secondary data is at the same, uh, research and which software tools should we use? Yeah. Um, uh, you can use primary, secondary data. Uh, you can use um, NVivo to analyze it. It, it depends what kind of da data. If it's qualitative data, Le Sphinx, NVivo, it's quite cool. 
Alors, it's, it's quantitative data, smart PLS, it's quite useful to analyze the, the data. Um, et on, yes, of course, you can use primary and secondary data at the same research. You can mix methods. I know Professor Kalika and other professors say, no, no, uh, you have to, uh, to choose one methodology. I made a thesis with quantitative and then qualitative analysis, and it works. So you have to feel free. Et I've got a question. What's the name of the free tool for qualitative? Uh, qualitative. I don't know if there is. Huh? Le Sphinx. En vivo, I did en vivo. Uh... Yeah, but it, en vivo is not free. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Sphinx. Experienced. Um... I will. Check for the link to Sphinx. Sphinx analysis software. You can use Sphinx uh, with, um, uh, of course, uh, because there is some uh, some license um, from BSI. Sphinx. Yeah. Okay, we have all accounts of Sphinx, I think. Yeah, I think too, yeah. We've got a last question for Faye Sum. Uh, yeah, I had a question, Professor. Could I ask you why yeah, uh, speaking? Because uh, if we write in writing, it's a lot, it may be long. Could you hear me? Yeah, it yeah, says some interruption in, in the question. I hear, could you repeat maybe for me? Uh, I have a question as I write on the my chart. It means uh, the second, we do the quantitative, but the quantitative, it means we need the data. And the data, it has one part is the primary data and another part is secondary data. Yeah, it, okay. Uh, yeah. And then we would like to use these two data in one research because uh, example, as we saw uh, the financial performance of the, of the company and the financial performance and could be affected by the uh, uh, compliance also as the uh, board of director, the meeting of other thing yeah. and then another part it could be from the finance could be from the finance it's such as the uh liquidity uh liquidity uh leverage and underwriting yeah. and risk yeah. yeah so it's mean that is the secondary data and these two data uh, in my mind, it's like this. It means the secondary data. It means the data already happened in previous year that we had been uh, identified. Or yeah, it's example in 2009 to 2019 for 11 year, and then for the primary data, it means we are uh, interviews or we uh, ask the respondent to answer the question. And the period that we get the, the primary data is different on the period that we get the secondary data. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. so on these two data, and if we use it in the same, uh, uh, the same research, thus it could be good or it could be acceptable or i don't know and then... ah, it's, uh, it's it's a no it's a richness to have all this data primary and secondary you have to use it because it's your data and uh, you can make triangulation to to check uh, your um, your hypothesis uh, no you have to to use it of course it's a richness to me okay yeah, and uh, when we analyze this as the primary data, we could, uh, my experience, I could use the Amos, Amos 
in most it means uh, one software tool that uh, easy when not easy it complicated but it mean yeah. be run one and then we could get the data read the result and the secondary data for the finance, we could use the economic trick as the e juice. Yeah, and then uh, if we use it in these two in two data in one, which software tool that we could use to analyze this data? Yeah. So uh, the Sphinx um, got a lot of uh, tricks to to mix uh, different kinds of data. So check uh, with the, the Sphinx, and uh, there is a, a great uh, support in the Sphinx to help you to do to do to do that. Because uh, in, in my case, I made some interviews, and then I grab some data uh, with survey, and I use PLS, and I made all, all the, the analysis with the Sphinx, and. Um, I've got the ability to, to, to check with the qualitative part and the quantitative part. Um, so it was, it was great for me. So if you had to, ch to check with the Sphinx and it's quite uh, easy to use. So easy, uh, it's not always easy because it's dependent on your data and uh, your level in mass and, and so on, yeah. Yeah, uh, the, the data is the most important because uh, if we select wrong data or we get wrong data for analysis it means this the research can be useful or meaningless because if we use wrong data this this research it mean mean nothing because the result that we got it is not what we want or could not contribute to the uh, community or to the researcher or to anyone because oh, cool. we use the data and so that's why my concern is the data first is data question and second is the analysis and as the experience it's mean uh, qualitative and quantitative that's right it's mean first time we could do the qualitative and then after the result from the qualitative and then we could do the quantitative by interviews and then after that we got the pilot we could do the pilot uh, uh, project a uh, pilot testing and after pilot testing, and then we could do the full testing by get the full uh, uh, primary data from our correspondent. First, it means for my, as my planning, it means first we could do the interviews. That one, we just get the pilot. Yeah, for how many people that we can do, example, 20 or 30. And after that, we could create the question questionnaire that can be distributed to the respondent that the uh, our select sample site and then after that it the respondent can be respond to us and we could get that depend on our question questionnaire that uh, one questionnaire could be uh, 15 respondent or something like that uh, based on the uh, previous researcher or previous uh, yeah theory Okay. So it's that is step by step. That is not uh, difficult. But as I said, if we mix it in the two, I think maybe I do not have experience yet. So I, if someone uh, have the experience, willing to share, I'm happy to to receive it to get it. And if you have the research relating to this kind of the data, could you share with me? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So you you've got your point because you you um. The truth is in your data, and you have to, to collect data until saturation, okay? And uh, if you want to, to, to first of all, um, collect data from survey, quantitative data, and then um, make some, some interviews with uh, qualitative uh, data, um, it's a, a quite normal methodology. It's good, you, you, but feel free to, to do something else. You can start with qualitative and then do quantitative. You can make ethnography, uh, feel free, but uh, your data drive your methodology and you have to feel what there is behind or in your data, okay? 
I don't know, uh, Fadwa, if you want to add something about those methodology grounded in the data. Um, I, uh, in my perspective, um, I, I am also, um, I have also some problem in, uh, in matching qualitative and quantitative. It is very risky and uh, risky projects. You have to master your data and you have to master how to analyze the data. If you are not sure about your, how to analyze, you have to seek help and you have to discuss it, that with the, your director of research. Um, then, I mean, all the, you have to, to, to be logical. Um, the, 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 the question, the, the research question, um, have to, you have to dictate how to, 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 to respond if, uh, is it a qualitative response or um, or a quantitative? You, it is logical. You have it. I, I see things like puzzle. Every every piece of puzzle have to match with the other piece. The methodology have to 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 match with the question uh, research question and has to match with the analysis. If you are okay, if you you are okay with that, if you 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 your mind it is clear with all your data and where all your analysis, it's okay. You have to defend your choices, as Cédric said. He he chose some choose something difficult, but he he defended the the choices. Um, let's see the things as a puzzle. He, you have everything that's that in break in the other, uh, in, in every decision uh, will lead to the other decision. That's what yeah. I want to say. Yeah. One step behind, of course. Yeah. yeah. Great, it's yeah, time. For, for yeah. me, it's like, yeah. I had no one is for using primary data and I had no another research using a secondary data. And the, as I said, it's the primary data, I use AMOS. And then secondary data, I use econometric. That is two different uh, research and two different uh, subjects and all success. But my idea is, I mean, I would like uh, you, if you could share with me that what we, I had been raised in primary and secondary. This is that I, I would like to, to do that. Yeah, and yeah. if, uh, yeah, and I thank when I, in my experience, I had a, a, a secondary data data that I put in my literature. Yeah. You see how 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 I did. Um, it was it was the first step of my data mining. That's what I did. Yeah. And you have to to make links between your primary and secondary data. Um, yeah, you, you can you can uh, um, you can create some hypotheses with your primary data, confirm it or uh, 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 yeah, confirm it with secondary data. But you have to to find a way to link your methodology. You can't do okay. Um, I don't know if you can't because you can make two small papers, one with uh, primary data, one with secondary data, and you, you, you make it with an introduction and a link between those two papers, and it's your thesis. It could be cool. So, but, but you have to speak about that with your uh, thesis director, of yes. course. Because a lot of people are, 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 um, are um, uh, working on many papers and um, linking them to, to create a, a thesis, of course. So it could be a way for you. So thanks a lot. It's time uh, now. Um, we would like to to, to thank you for uh, for coming, and uh, if you've got 
other questions we are here to 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 answer by email i will i will um, add in the chat my personal mail yeah and uh, thanks a lot have a great uh, weekend and uh, see you maybe in Vils or in Paris or in uh, Bern or I don't know where. And um, I, we wish you a, a pleasant journey, a pleasant DBA journey. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.